This year's bike is quite a bit different, having acquired the VTEC Varial Valve Operation. This is found on many of Honda's car range, but it's the first officially imported UK bike to feature it. Handling-wise, the VFR still has what it takes to embarrass a lot of sportier bikes when the going gets twisty. At the same time, allows you and your pillion as much luggage as you can strap on to travel in comfort to the other side of the globe. This bike lives up to all the VFR traditions of performance, handling and styling, although the latest model does look like it has some styling cues taken from Aprilia's Futura. The Honda VFR 800 is a polished performer. It actually feels like a twin to ride until you really rev it and then it just opens up and goes. It's comfortable, it's fast, uh, it'll last 200,000 miles. If you want a bike that is going to cover long distances and isn't going to bore you on the way, Certainly if you're out with a group of mates who are on more hard-headed sports bikes, I think the VFR is really going to cut it. Many say that the Honda VFR 800 was one of the best motorcycles ever built. Relatively light, relatively fast, a great all-rounder, just a superb total package. So by combining our panel scores for each category, the Honda VFR 800i is in third place in our chart with a total score of 82%.